I'm Lee Nagel from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre in Victoria, Australia. This is a short introduction to Duxbury. It's a translation program from print into braille. I prefer to use key commands, but I'll use the mouse during this demonstration so that you can see where I'm finding the commands. We have the Duxbury program open, but no document open yet. I'll go to File and New to get a new print document. But you can see that I could press Ctrl and N to get the same thing. I get a dialog box then which um, asks whether I want to start a print or a braille file and I'll start off in print. I can translate in a minute. Uh, this is going to translate into English Unified with Australian formatting which I set up as a default earlier. So I'll press OK or enter. At this stage I can type directly into the document. Otherwise, if I have selected some text in another document, I can copy it from the other document, Control and C, and I can paste Control and V. So if I've scanned something, I could use that. At this stage, I can choose to save Control and S, or I can translate directly. Control and T, which I'm going to do now. I'm now in Braille dots view. A useful feature is this yellow line at the bottom of the screen where you can see the print translation for the Braille line that your cursor is on. I'll just move the cursor so that you can see each line can be translated and it's one way of checking your Braille. Now I can use Braille key entry, which means I can directly Braille into this file. I'm using keys F, D and S to do dots 1, 2 and 3, the space bar, and keys J, K and L to do dots 4, 5 and 6. I can use the backspace as I would in Word and the Enter key to get a new line. I can use Braille key entry to draw simple graphics. I'm doing a space, an L, some spaces, and dots 4, 5, and 6, space, and a V, low C, and the number sign, and now I've got a rectangle. I might also use Braille key entry to do some maths. One plus four equals five. And I can change the layout by moving the cursor around the document and perhaps pressing enter at the beginning of some lines to double space. The way you see the dots on the screen is how they will appear on your embossed page. Once I'm happy with the layout in Braille, I can save it if I want with Control S or I can go to the embosser, Control E. The dialog box will ask me how many copies I want and the page range all or the current page or a selection. And when I'm happy, I can press enter or click OK.